Welcome to The Shooting Show. Welcome to this week's Shooting Show. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Shooting Show. Good evening, welcome to The Shooting Show. Welcome to The Shooting Show. Welcome to The Shooting Show. Nearly halfway through the allotted time, it's still Daryl 7, Byron 0. As he descends to low ground, Byron finally gets a good chance to get on the scoreboard. It's a big, big pregnant sound. I've seen two males. One a young male. Yeah, definitely, I don't want to show one of those. The reason why we want to take out these younger buffalo bulls is due to the fact that we want the gene pool to be preserved within the buffaloes of the hard bosses. After getting the quad ready, Steve heads to a feed station where he knows the boar have been active. We've actually um, spotted on a couple of occasions when we've been out here at night, we've spotted some fairly big animals. part of the farm and quickly spots an opportunity to put his 2-2 two -two rimfire to the test, shooting three conies in quick succession. You buy, you buy the beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After Jack's negotiated who's buying the first round, there's time to inspect the beast more closely. It's come, it's come down at that angle, I think, from the other side. Yeah? I think so. Um, Really from pretty much from the start, it was probably a couple of months after Pete had the idea and then the few episodes had gone out and then he spoke to me uh, about coming on board. So probably close on 10 years. It's amazing how time flies actually. I think a general improvement in quality is what I would have to say and that's basically because a lot of us were, were not familiar with doing this sort of thing before so we made quite a lot of mistakes along the way. So I feel there's just a gradual progression and improvement of the quality of material and the content that we're putting out. A lot of great memories, hard to pick out one. I think probably the one thing, the one memory that stays with me are the mistakes we've made um, and still make, but I can remember one of the early episodes was trying to film actually with Dean, bless his cotton socks. Um, really, really good, really good stalk, cracking footage, everything on camera would have made a real nice package only to realise for the whole time and the whole morning when Deal thought, Dean thought he was filming, he was off and when he thought he was off, he was on. So the whole footage was basically the scene of the floor as Dean was carrying a camera around. So that was quite good. But generally, it's the, it's the fun we have and the, the cock-ups, that's what I enjoy most. Again, there's been a lot of these. We've had some, some, some great times filming. Uh, I particularly remember one of the early episodes we made with Byron and his, his girlfriend, uh, Beth, and we were filming um, Roebuck. She'd never seen a Roebuck rut in. I don't think she'd shot a Roebuck at that point. She'd never seen Roebuck um, at kids and young. Uh, we filmed it in late July, early August, um, and got a rut in Roebuck coming up, the in, in, nice stalk coming up to us, all bracken and brushing its hands, a little four point book as I recall and a, and a perfect shot and it went down. I think I, just the whole afternoon filming that, stunning scenery, um, that is memorable for me. So that's probably the one that stands out. I think I, I like the, I just like the direction we're going in. I think that just talking about our little sort of stoking um, offerings on the packages, 
um, the improvements that we're making and we continue to, to, to try and make those and just continuing to promote um, all the good things about country sports and particularly uh, our interest on the on the stalking side of it and I just want to see us continuing along that lot that, that theme with good content uh, a good message and, and just a quality product um, I've been with the shooting show basically right since since the very first episode uh, myself and my two sons were filmed in one of our woods a squirrel drain so really it's uh, since day one yeah it's had a, had a great impact actually I've enjoyed you know, I've enjoyed working with the crew I've enjoyed you know all right you know get put in the limelight if you like uh, and I've enjoyed meeting people lots of different people up and down the country so yeah it, it's had a great impact on me and an enjoyable impact as well well I think really I think it's the technology, um, you know, um, from when we first started to where we are now, the technology in the cameras, uh, the equipment, the recording, um, like the shot cam for instance, you know, a camera now that sits underneath the barrel of your gun to give you absolutely clear uh, photography out there in the field. Um, and also, the, you know, a lot more of the equipment, the gun, cartridges, uh, the clothing, you know, everything has really has changed in the last 10 years since the first episode. Um, one of the favourite memories, I mean there's quite a few, but one of the ones that sticks out in my mind was um, Browning had sent me up a, a, a Mark I Max's combo gun and I received it the very morning um, that we were filming, put it together in my me, in me, uh, front room and then took it out for the day and shot a 200 plus bag for pigeons. You know, that, that was the first one that I shot on show. So yeah, that's uh, got to be one of the best memories of the shooting show. I think one of the ones I got really got enjoyment out of was uh, when uh, I met Pete Carr and John Pyle uh, up in Lincolnshire. We then went to the ferry port on the Humber sailed across, drove to Germany, and basically we had a, an evening from high seats after bore, which uh, didn't materialise into anything. But the one memory of that particular evening was actually not realising that we were so close to a pen of wild wolves, or wolves, and their howling sent shivers up your spine. Um, and then the following day we went out, stalked a boar, I shot it, uh, and then we came home, you know, that was a great weekend, great memories, met some wonderful people in Germany. So to me, that's got to be one of the best episodes for me, for memory wise. Well, I'm hopefully looking forward to working, uh, you know, uh, working on the shooting show. Uh, it gives me a lot of pleasure working with the, with the people that I have to work with. Uh, the, the, the camera men, the camera women, uh, all the crew back at uh, Future. Um, and also I get enjoyment out of doing it. I get enjoyment out of making these films. And also I get enjoyment listening to the comments and, and meeting people when we're out at shows. Um, so I'm just hoping that will continue. So I've been with the show since 2015, so about seven years now. So during that time, um, I've gone from doing the odd little bit uh, with the cameraman and that um, once in a blue moon to now probably doing at least one, maybe two shows uh, a month and I film them and edit them as well. So I would now do a sort of a complete package rather than just doing a little guest appearance now and again. So I think over the past 10 years, we've um, seen a few people come and go. So we've got some new faces now on the channel now. Um, and also we've sort of done our best to, to kind of keep up with all the latest products and review stuff and basically just be using all the uh, current gear as much as possible. So probably my favourite memories of um, working with the shooting show has probably been the shows I think such as the British shooting show. Um, just that kind of getting together with people that you maybe don't see 
uh, the rest of the year. So it's good to catch up with old old friends and uh, make new acquaintances and generally hit the bar. <laughs> it's always a good weekend. So I think probably my favourite episode was uh, my top 10 greatest hits where I basically went over all the previous episodes and picked all my favourite shots that i would made over that time. Uh, it was just really good to, to kind of play back all that um, old footage and uh, just kind of relive those memories. So over the next few years, I'm just going to be looking forward to bringing you more of the same. Although we're always trying to up our game, so we're always looking to improve quality as well as content, um, as well as also using all the latest kit on the market, all the latest gear, so you can keep up to speed with that. I'm not built for TV or <laughs> being in front of a camera. I basically donated this, this, um, yeah, cut that in Perthshire and also into Angus, really just a flying visit. We do quite a lot of work up there with... Um, to the right, on... Oh, cut that. <laughs> Take two. Come on Bear Grill. Test the wind here because we're in a very enclosed sort of field with trees all around. And I've just come to the conclusion that we're going to be shooting in a whirlwind. We're here. Come on. They can have a few shots for free on, uh, all supported by Brown. So, uh, where about the balloons? Do you know? Camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> down the, turn left, down the hill, turn right. Not a bantam, is it? It's a commander. Shot capacity will be reduced, but you should still get great consistency. I forgot the next bit. It's very well engineered and really robust. When you can. Oh, it.